Tonight, a story of survival. One of the first cases of COVID-19 here in the Valley was a football player that the Red Wave knows well. Travis Brown is now fully recovered, but as CBS 47 Scott Bina shows us, the last month has been filled with some scary moments. It's good to see Travis Brown laughing and smiling again at his home in Fresno. I understand you're rocking the Bulldog gear today. Yeah, rocking the Bulldogs and a little BC Lions. I got the, the perfect little mix and match on. Because it's been a rough four and a half weeks for the former Bulldog All-Conference linebacker, who's now an assistant coach for the BC Lions of the Canadian Football League. I'm 29 years old, um, relatively healthy. You know, I never thought it was going to affect me like it did. In early March, the Clovis West grad started feeling the onset of a cold, and it didn't seem like much at first. You know, it was just like a tickle more than anything. But not too long after that, he would test positive for the virus, even though he never had a fever or much of a cough. It felt like I had just a, I was laying down on my bed and a bowling ball was on my chest. Three separate times he went to the emergency room. Thing that reminded me of it is if you, you know, tightened the belt around your chest, about as tight as it could go and said breathe. The virus's grip on his lungs also made it very difficult to sleep. Every time I began to doze off or fall asleep, I would stop breathing completely. It felt like I was getting waterboarded. A process that would sometimes repeat itself as many as 14 to 15 times a night. So eventually Brown just decided to stop going to sleep altogether. There was one point where uh, I went five straight days without sleeping at all. The good news is Brown has come out on the other side of this. He's considered fully recovered after two straight negative tests for COVID-19 in the past eight days and finally able to see something else besides his bedroom. I went and I got food for myself for the first time. Like just being outside for the first time in four and a half weeks was something special. Yeah, I looked up at the sky, I saw the trees, and I mean, it's, it feels good just to be out. Scott Bemis, KC24, local news that matters. And Brown says by sharing his story, he hopes it's a reminder of what can happen if people are not acting in a safe manner or following stay-at-home guidelines.